Hey, what's up? This is Ben with Water Prep, and in this video, we are going to learn all about how to get stronger to do handstand push-ups. So this video, I'm going to teach you a few simple strength drills that you can implement into your training that's going to help you get stronger so that you can do handstand push-ups as RX in your next workout. If you want to get to the RX level and do handstand push-ups in any workout, then click here or click the link in the description. Go to wadprep.com slash HSPU and I have a completely free handstand push-up training guide that I would love to send your way. And it's going to teach you all the intricacies of learning how to do handstand push-ups, both strict and kipping. So the first drill that I want to talk about is handstand push-up negatives. This is one of my favorite strength development drills because it's specific to the handstand push-up. So what you're going to do is jump up onto the wall just as if you were about to knock out a normal handstand push-up. So we want to make sure our hands are in the proper position. I generally like it to be six to 10 inches away from the wall. I think that's about 15 to 20 centimeters away from the wall. And then obviously it, the width of your hands matters. If you go too wide, then you'll be outside the general accepted standard. But as, as, as a normal rule, about 30 inches apart, whatever the normal standard is for, for the CrossFit Open. So once I kick up into the wall, I'm gonna have a nice tight core and a nice tight butt. So my glutes are tight, my core's tight. And then here's the key. In order to develop strength through the entire range of motion, I am going to lower myself down from this locked out position as slow as humanly possible. So we're going slow and controlled. This is called the eccentric phase. So if you've ever done a pull up negative or if you've ever done any sort of like tempo back squat, the whole theory is that when you're lowering yourself under tension, you will develop, you'll break down more muscle, which will then develop more strength. Well, the same goes for handstand pushups. So I'm kicking up into the handstand, I'm lowering myself down as slow as I possibly can. And in that process, I'm making sure to stay tight, stay stable. And as I do that, it is gonna make me stronger in the handstand push-up. Now, the key here is once you get all the way down to the bottom, you don't need to push yourself back up. Instead, you hop down from the wall, shake it out, and then you can go back and do it again. So I'm starting from this lockout position. I'm lowering myself down as slowly as possible. And remember, as I lower myself down to the ground, I do need to be careful to stay controlled. The last thing you wanna do is get halfway down and then collapse onto the top of your head. So be really careful about that. And if you need to, you can always add a mat or a pad or something like that underneath your head uh, to, to ensure that you're not smacking the crown of your head against the ground. I highly recommend doing it on some sort of gymnastics pad or something like that, because there's no reason to crack your head on something really hard like the floor. So the way I see it, you have two options. Option number one, you do 30 burpees right now. Option number two, you click the subscribe button. The choice is yours. Another drill that I really like are dumbbell presses, and there's several different versions. So the dumbbell press, I'm gonna take a dumbbell in each hand, and you can either sit on the ground, you can stand up, and you can add a tempo. So I'm gonna talk about all those. So the seated dumbbell press is a really good one because it helps us get our core involved and it keeps us um, it keeps us stable and we're focused on our upper body. We're not using our legs at all. It's impossible to use your legs when you're sitting on the ground. So a seated dumbbell press is I'm pressing all the way up overhead, really focusing on locking that arm out. I don't want to see any bent elbows. Lock that sucker out. So lock it out and then control the weight back down. You can also add tempo to this. So that means I'm locking the weight overhead. I might hold for a second or two and then I'll lower it nice and slow. What does that remind you of? That's a lot like the handstand push-up negatives that I talked about earlier, except this time the negative is being done with dumbbells and we can actually get a longer range of motion since the dumbbells come all the way back down to our shoulder. So that helps develop strength through a longer range of motion, which is good. So you can do the same exact thing standing. So standing dumbbell presses are another really good thing because if you think about it, when we're doing hand stand push-ups, we're fully vertical, we're just upside down. So if I stand and do standing dumbbell presses, it's very, very similar to the same movement. It's just, I'm standing straight up like a normal human being instead of upside down on my hands. 
So here we can do the same exact thing, lock the weight out, bring it down. You can just do normal tempo or you can add a slower tempo. So I like to lock it out, hold it for a second, and then one, two, three on the way down, making sure that we keep our core engaged. The last thing I wanna see is you pressing like this. We wanna make sure that we keep our core tight and we press directly overhead and then bring the weights down right in front of us into the front rack position. So those are two drills that I absolutely love for handstand strength development. So I hope that you learned a little bit about how to develop strength in this video. If you would like to learn exactly how to do strict and kipping handstand pushups, I have a step-by-step -step free training guide. All you need to do is go to wadprep.com slash HSPU. You can click the link in the description or you can click any of the little floaty bars that pop up on the screen and you're gonna go to a page where all you have to do is enter your name and email and I'm gonna send you the free training course. It's like six or seven videos where I'm teaching you exactly how I like to train athletes how to do handstand pushups. Also, please, if you haven't yet, click the subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos that I release here on this channel. It's really important that you click the subscribe button or else for every person who doesn't click the subscribe button, I'm gonna have to do a lot of burpees. Okay, so don't make me do burpees, please. Uh, click the like button if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't like the video, that's cool too. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought and let me know what your favorite drill is surrounding handstand pushups. I'm really interested to hear what you guys like. All right, peace. Thank you.